Well, here's an exceptionally nice version of the RCA Cosmac VIP microprocessor, microcomputer, with the 1802 uh, CMOS processor. This uh, computer is very nice condition. It has, of course, the uh, built-in tape cassette recorder player and a video monitor to go into a video display. And it has lots of options. We're going to show you these options too. Nice little case. The case is just held on by some little tabs so we can take the case off. And so you zoom in a little bit here. Here's the memory section permanent memory and then some other memory plugged in so it's got the full memory complement of 2114. So here's the processor chip, the 1802 microprocessor chip. Some interface connectors back here and we're going to see that uh, we have some interface devices as well. It doesn't have any controls. A reset and then three little LEDs that tell you the power is on, tape is running, and one other data light. There, got the case back on. So what I want to do now is show you some of the peripherals that go with this unit. Here's the interface expansion board, which plugs in to the uh, computer at this point. And we can plug additional things in here. And it has some buffering on it and a system out here to add interface boards. So this is a very nice uh, Addition. So we just plug it in here, and it's all set to go. We're very fortunate to have a number of cards come with this uh, Cosmac computer. Of course, the interface uh, board here to do the expansion uh, with some buffering on it. Very nice. It comes with the uh, tiny basic ROM card, February of 79. So we can run Tiny Basic with this uh, computer, plugging this into the expansion interface. Here's a uh, keyboard interface. That's a nice function too. So we can plug a keyboard in and that would be nice. Here is the um, super sound card with uh, audio in and out, volume control. Probably a little higher quality, a little faster data rate uh, recording than the uh, internal uh, audio recorder circuitry that's on the computer itself. Same thing here. We do have a little audio capability with the computer, but here's an audio card called Simple Sound, little audio amplifier on it, place for this plug in earphones in as well. And so we can get um, higher quality audio out of this unit. And here's a really nice card, color board with the color generators and uh, video display circuitry on the card. Of course, the output here goes to a coaxial cable, goes to your video monitor. So these are the five interface cards plus the interface expansion unit itself with the buffers on it. Now here's the computer with all the cards plugged in that I have, all five of them into the expansion interface. So you can run them all at the same time, including Tiny Basic is plugged in there. Now one, one additional thing here, we do have a little software for this computer. <clears throat> it's a pinball game uh, from Creative Computing. Now since this thing is so old, it's pretty unlikely that this would uh, still have the date on it. 
because the uh, magnetic domains migrate on these old cassette tapes, but who knows, it might be useful. That would be certainly interesting if it was. We'll have to check that out.